I think here in our town we have the only Hungry Howies in Pennsylvania, so I, I doubt that you've heard of that one, at least over in your area. When the following video demonstrates test methods for troubleshooting a dead band on a Halicrafters S40B receiver. These tests may also apply to other type receivers. For more details, refer to your manual and schematic. First test, we'll check the antenna input coils. So you're going to connect an ohmmeter to terminal A1 and chassis on the antenna strip. We're going to start at band 1. As you can see, we have a thousand ohms on that input coil. That's because they have an attenuation resistor R65. Let's check the other bands. Bands 2 through 4 are going to measure under 1 ohm. Pay attention to my ohm meter and you'll see approximately what those values should be. So I'm still at band 1. There is band 2, 6.2 ohms. Band 3. And band 4. We go back to 1. If you see an open on any of those selections, check the band switch S1A or the input coils. Next we're going to check the 6SA7 converter to make sure that it oscillates on each band. For this test, you're going to need a frequency counter that goes into the kilohertz range. The frequency counter is going to be loosely coupled to the base of the 6SA7. So you see my negative is on chassis, but my positive lead is simply looped and tucked in under the base of that tube so we can induce the signal. So as before, we'll start at band 1. So the frequency counter will display close to the dial frequency plus the 455 IF frequency. So I'm on band 1. I'm going to turn the tuning dial and you can see the frequency tracking on the counter as I'm tuning that dial, which means that this band is operating. Let's go to band two. You can see our frequency jumped. Same thing. Turn your tuning dial. Make sure that you're seeing the frequency tracking as you're going up and down frequency. Band three. So you can see the oscillators are working fine. Now we'll go to band 4 because this is the one that everybody seems to say is dead on the receiver. And of course we know that this receiver is working fine. And there is what you would see on my band dial. Right now I'm at about 30 megahertz. And I'll work my way down. So while performing this test, if you lose the signal, Check the band switch S1B and associated components for that selection.